good morning guys and welcome back so today we are deep cleaning the engine bay on the Jeep now a lot not a lot of people actually go to the extent of cleaning the engine bays but it makes a massive difference to the overall look and feel of your Jeep and I want to kind of go to all ends to keep the Jeep in good condition make sure there's no rust um, water salt in there after we've done a beach ship I, I really want to give the engine bay a nice deep clean to make sure there's no chance of anything rusting there's a few different ways you can do it a lot of people just get uh, wipes and um, get the pressure washer gives it a good blast down but we're going to be doing something different today I've always wanted to try this but it's been on the market for a while now it's only exclusive to super cheap auto but you can buy online from the Bowden's own store if you guys want to if you guys live in America or something like that they do ship all around the world but today we'll be using the Bowden's own orange agent now so orange agent is pH neutral which is unique to most all-purpose cleaners so you can use this because it's an all-purpose cleaner you can use it in a majority of different ways whether it be the inside of your car your exhaust pipes chassis engine bay but it rapidly dissolves oils grease heavy grime penetrates built up stubborn uh, residue in your engine bay on your car so it's perfect after you've been up the beach or um, out in the bush and you've got a really dirty Jeep like we have um, and I've noticed that the I think it might be the steering pump is leaking a little bit so we'll show you that in a second um, so we'll, that's probably a really good test for the orange agent. So what we'll be using is an orange agent. I'm pretty sure we got this on sale from Super Cheap Auto for I think it was $25 on sale, full price. I think it might be about $32. But we'll be using an orange agent from Bowden's um, and a couple of different brushes. We'll be using a really coarse stiff brush. You break down um, a lot of the thicker grime and then just a really soft coarse brush uh, for light parts, like on top of the batteries, fuse box. Um, the intake and stuff like that just so we're not using a very coarse brush you can buy a range of different brushes which is fine for a range of different prices um, but we're not using any water we're just going to spray it on give it a, a quick breakdown with the brushes and we're going to be wiping it off with a couple uh, cloths so really simple you guys can do this at home you don't need any special tools or anything like that um, it's really cheap and we'll show you guys the difference now of before the engine bay and now after and you can already see it's going to be a massive difference so let's get into it Let's give this um, engine bay a massive deep clean and see how well we can get it and see how well this orange agent can actually break it down. I did sit, I did do some of the chassis components like the steering arms and stuff yesterday and it made a big difference. So let's um, start spraying some stuff down, giving this engine bay a deep clean. Alright, so what we'll do is start at the top then work our way down. That way if we've got any things dripping down because you can, you can really notice that as soon as you spray it on it starts breaking down the dirt. So we'll start at the top with the um, underside of the hood. It's very light dirt, but we'll start breaking this down. That way, anything that's going to drip, it's going to drip down. We can finish those parts off last. Let's get to it. So, a couple shakes of orange agent, and we'll just spray it on. All over. You can already see it changing colour with that breaking down that dirt. Look at that, beautiful. You already see it dripping away, all that crap. Which is good, that's what you want. So, with it, because it doesn't have so much dirt on it, you probably don't need to rough the surface up too much. So, we'll just get our cloth and we'll just wipe it. So this has got like a spray nozzle and also a jet as well so we're going to be cleaning up the top of the motor you can see it's just really dusty, some really built on dirt. Probably a lot of things we won't be able to get out. Uh, but let's give it a go and see what we can do. So a couple of nice light sprays. Make sure we're not spraying stuff that we don't want it to sit into. Get out soft coarse brush. Mm. 
Ooh, yeah. Some sort of dead bug. Anyway. Hmm. I think it's actually pulled the numbers and stuff off the head there. Let's have a look. Well, there was a barcode and stuff on that. Obviously it's going to be probably worn down previously, but it's really broken all the stuff down. What was on it? It's alright. Don't think that's really important. But you can see how much better is that. All up in there. Like we haven't even given it like a nice deep clean. This is just from a couple of sprays, a couple of wipe downs. Obviously, the amount of work you put into it will vary depending on how dirty your engine might be. But use the product to full advantage and help it break down as it should. Now we just need to clean up these little parts here. Everything else is looking pretty mint. We just got the airbox to go, these little bits. We did the top of the axle um, and all the uh, pimpman arm and stuff like that the other day. Uh, this is like a week later than like the last ones you guys just saw. And it's come up absolutely mint. Um, everything like that actually got all the grease and stuff off the line for, I think it's a power steering pump. Might have to go off again. I didn't actually know that part there was silver, which is actually pretty cool. So you can see how dirty and caked on that stuff was. But it's just mostly um, a lot of dust and grime that needs to come off here and then we'll probably go along and we'll also do the chassis but for the most part everything else is looking absolutely mint obviously it's still it's not a show car or anything like that but compared to how it was before all this sort of stuff here um, that will probably need to go over again um, maybe it's just dried and it wipe it off all the bottles and stuff like that you can see the fluid in it now that foot there kind of looks a bit yuck, I'm going to change that. I'm going to that for And then get into all these small kind of gaps, turn all that stuff up. So let's get on to it. Also, for these small um, little intricate parts, we're still using that soft virtual brush. Now, these are just like a three pack from. Super cheap auto for like five bucks.
All right, so that's it for today, guys. Pretty impressed with how the um, orange engine has worked on the engine bay. All those small little gaps and stuff, how it's just broken it down without even touching the surface of it. It's fantastic, because the more effort that that works into breaking stuff down, the less effort or elbow grease you actually got to put um, into trying to break it down and get it nice and clean. I probably could go back over it again, maybe with a little bit of a coarser brush or a new brush, um, and really get into those um, smaller areas um, I really want to get underneath the chassis and do like all the chassis rods and stuff. That way I know that it's fully cleaned, fully protected in a way, but just so if there's any rust forming, I can see it. Um, if there's dirt and stuff in the way, you can't really see that rust forming, which um, that's why I kind of keep my Jeep really clean. And I love a clean Jeep, so it does a lot of other people. But you can also see where the rust is, where it's forming, where you might need to make repairs. And it's just so nice working on a cleaner Jeep rather than just a completely filthy Jeep. And if you can get it clean, Keeping it clean from that stage is a lot easier as well, which is fantastic. Uh, but as I said, I probably should go over a few more areas. Um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It looked like crap before. It's kind of hard to imagine when you're doing it, um, what it kind of looked like before, and then what it looks like after, because this is what it was before, and this is what it is now. And it's just a massive difference. Um, like I said, it's just so easy the way that Orange Agent actually breaks down the dirt, just so you don't have to do more work. The product kind of does all the work for you, and I think that's what a lot of the Bounds products do they do the work for you so you kind of have to do less work which is fantastic uh it's not over expensive i think i got that on sale from super cheap auto for 25 dollars it's only exclusive from super cheap auto or you can buy it from the bounds own website um which is i think it's like 35 from the website but they do ship it all around all around the world so if you guys do live in america um iceland england wherever they do ship all around the world so it is a lot easier you should pay for shipping which is a little bit annoying but they do make fantastic products as you can see from the small engine bay tea towel. So that's pretty much it for today. If you guys like this video, hit the like button and subscribe button. I will leave a link down in the description for the Bound Zone website if you guys want to check out the Orange Agent product. Uh, check that out um, and get your engine bay clean. It just makes a massive difference to the way the Jeep feels, honestly. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe button. If you guys get any ideas for videos you guys would like me to make in the future, let me know in the comments below. Um, the comments, comments haven't really been taken off much lately, so if you guys do have anything to say at all, leave it in the comments below i love reading comments i love interacting with you guys it makes me feel um like you guys are getting something out of this rather than just watching uh video on youtube but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next week filter all the crap there